Hey everyone, it's November 6th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with serial killer David Parker Ray, known as the Toy Box Killer, who murdered perhaps as many as 60 victims over a span of more than 40 years, beginning in the 1950s. And that is him right over there. Ray was born in 1939 in Belen, New Mexico, and was raised by his grandparents due to the poverty into which he was born. When his alcoholic father would visit, he would bring along sadomasochistic pornography, and he didn't develop social skills that let him talk to members of the opposite sex. He started drinking and using drugs as a teen to cope with his overbearing grandfather and with his status as an outcast at school. When his sister discovered a collection of bondage photographs kept under his bed, she was repulsed and they became estranged. After a stint in the army, he married and divorced four times, but maintained a close relationship with his daughter. He moved to Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, where Parker Ray worked as a park ranger and mechanic. While there, he began a relationship with Cindy Hendy, a woman 20 years his junior who dropped out of school at the age of 15 and had three children by three different men. She abandoned her kids and sent them off to live with her parents when she met Ray, who brought her into a world of S&M, which she was into. No one knew what the pair were up to, but in 1999, a 22-year-old prostitute was found nude in Elephant Butte, New Mexico, begging the owners of a mobile home for help. The police responded, and she had a horrific tale to tell. She had been kidnapped from a parking lot by a man and woman who kept her in a cage when they weren't actively whipping or torturing her with medical instruments. Covered in bruises and puncture wounds, she related that when she was abducted in their RV, she was forced to listen to an audio tape of a man's voice telling her that she was now his property and must refer to her captors as master and mistress. The tape said she would be tortured, sexually assaulted, forced to engage in bestiality, and that she was just one of many enslaved victims, most of whom had been killed when they didn't cooperate. After three days of electric shocks, cattle prods, whippings, and sexual assaults, she managed to find the keys to her restraints and escape. She tried calling 911 and was caught by the woman, but she stabbed her with an ice pick and ran away. The police found the RV and arrested Ray and Hendy once they saw evidence backing up the woman's story. Ray had what he called a toy box, which was a trailer filled with torture devices and restraints that he spent more than $100,000 on compiling and building. Investigators found a videotape of the couple abusing a woman and eventually came across a log that detailed dozens of victims and what was done to each. It turns out that beginning in the late 1950s, Ray had been torturing and killing women across the U.S. with an estimated 60 victims. His girlfriend participated in a dozen or more of them, and his daughter and a friend were also complicit in assisting him with some of the crimes. Hendy was in prison from 1999 to 2019 for her role in the murders, his friend was released in 2021, and Ray pleaded guilty to kidnapping in a deal to reduce the sentence of his daughter, who served just three years. Ray was sentenced to 223 years in prison, and in 2002 scheduled a meeting with the state police where he planned to confess to 60 or more murders, but died of a heart attack before the meeting could take place. Numerous documentaries have been released about Ray, and you can find lots of creepy photos online if you don't want to sleep tonight. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so I can find out all about their birthday twin. And to David Parker Ray, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.